bill has reached Governor Ralph Northam's desk that would block police officers from pulling people over who are driving without their headlights on, which is concerning some police officers and people whose lives have been changed by those who are driving under the influence. Crime Insider John Burkett joins us live now with that story. John. Well, as of right now, Bill, if you drive without a headlight, you can be stopped. But legislation that sits on Governor Ralph Northam's desk could soon change that. Law enforcement and victims' family members expressing some concern. The reason I stopped is you have a left tag light out. From young officers. I pull it for two reasons. To the most seasoned veterans. One thing they say they all agree on. Stop, stop reaching for stuff. There's no such thing as a routine traffic stop. A driver Thursday night traveling from Maryland to North Carolina is pulled by Caroline deputies for speeding. 88 in a 55. A strong odor of marijuana, the sergeant gets consent to search. He finds weed in four. You have the right to consult with an attorney. Illegal firearms. Are they yours? No. They're not mine. I mean, I have them. I'm, I'm trying to If Senate Bill 5029, which makes it unlawful for a police officer to stop a person from driving at night without headlights, gets signed by the governor. We're law enforcement personnel and we're going to follow the law. Chesterfield's top cop, Chief Jeffrey Katz, says it'll pump the brakes on public safety. It binds the hands of all police officers uh, to, you know, stop somebody and let them know, hey, your headlights are off or your brake lights aren't working or... You know, these are these are safety measures and uh, and we are not safer if our law enforcement personnel lack the ability to pull someone over. Law enforcement agencies across the country are driven by stats. It's how they come up with crime fighting strategies. Stats from the National Highway Transportation Safety Administration say 55 to 65 percent of people that operate cars without lights at night are impaired. This is my daughter, Melissa Hayslip. She was 23 years old. She was on her way home from work as a nurse at St. Mary's Hospital and was killed by a drunk driver. It's been six years since Vanessa Hazlip lost her daughter. A drunk driver slammed into the side of her car near Rockets Landing. Hell on earth, she says, hoping the governor remembers this face before picking up the pen. My husband will never get to walk his daughter down the aisle. You know, come talk to us that, that are being affected by this to let, to, and find out how we feel, not by just some numbers. You need to talk to a real person that goes through this and walks in this daily. Senator Louise Lucas is the author of Senate Bill 5029. We reached out to her office about Chief Katz's take on her legislation, and she hasn't gotten back to us. A spokesperson, however, for Governor Northam's office tells us he will certainly review the legislation before making a decision to sign it or veto it. Working for you in Caroline County tonight, John Burkett, CBS 6 News.